for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen? Amen. And that's what we want to we want to launch out from uh, or just use for foundation, but look at all three of those or exhortations. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm going to talk about Amen for a few minutes in everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. Give thanks. Yeah. Amen. In everything. In everything. Amen. Not give thanks for everything. In but in everything. Give thanks. In every situation, every circumstance, uh, every uh, encounter in life, give thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I've been around and in, uh, in the faith uh, long enough to know that that uh, my worship comes out of experience. Amen. 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 My, my worship comes out of experience. Uh, the good, uh, the bad, uh, the ugly. Amen. But my worship comes out of uh, the experiences that God has allowed me to go through. All right. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. That may sound a little weird, but 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 uh, experience, uh, our trials, our struggles, amen, our involvement in in this world that we're living in, even though we're in Christ, uh -huh. uh, life experience has a way of maturing in your worship. Yeah. And we got some help tonight. Yeah. Amen, somebody. If it had not been for some of the things that God allowed us, again, to be a part of in our lives, and it had not been all good, amen, amen but it's work, it's been working for our good. Have we got some help in here? Amen. But when God has been real to you, Amen, somebody. I'm talking about when he's been real good to you. When he's been real to you in spite of the encounters that you may have gone through, every episode, every conflict, uh, every battle, every test. Amen, somebody. You, you ought to be the first one to tell God, thank you. Amen. That he brought you, he brought you out. Yeah, we got some help in the house. Amen, somebody. And, and, and we got to understand that God sends tests. He sends trials. He sends struggle. He sends conflict to help mature us, grow up our praise, grow our worship up. Grow our, hallelujah, somebody. Get us to a place where we can give him true worship. Y'all still in here with me, too. Because some of us, amen, we, until we went through a thing or two, uh -huh. amen, we really didn't know how to worship God amen. in spirit and amen. in truth. Right. And I'm still in here with me. We really didn't know how to appreciate God and give him thanks oh in everything. Amen. amen, somebody. And many times folk try to read you, but... But, but you need to help them to understand that God has kept you through some real stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they may not understand the stuff that he has kept you through. And, and, and when they're looking at you, when you are worshiping God and praising him and giving him thanks in every situation, amen, uh, amen you need to help them to understand that I graduated and God has matured my worship because of life experience it. You haven't been through anything. You really don't know how to worship him. Amen. I'm talking about real worship. But, but if God has allowed you to go through some things, some good things and some bad things, amen, then you know how to really worship him in spirit and in the truth. Amen, somebody. Matter, matter of fact, amen, uh, as you get a little older, your worship ought to be more generous. Yeah. It ought to be bolder. Come on, somebody. It ought to be more courageous. Come on, help me, somebody. 
Hallelujah, somebody. And when I, when I say that older, I mean older in the spirit and older in the law. Amen. Older, amen, in your experiences. It, it ought to cause you to become more bold as you worship God. You ought not be as reserved as you once were because you know the power of God. You know what God has done in your life. Hallelujah, somebody. It troubles me when folk have been around the Lord, been around the church for a long time, but they still take for granted, amen, God's goodness. Hallelujah, somebody. But we ought to be bold enough. We ought to be spirited enough, amen. And I may not do it like you do it. You may not do it like I do it. But there ought to be some evidence no, that's right. That's right. that God been good to you. Amen. I came to preach just a little while ago. Just, just a few minutes. Amen, somebody. And, and, and experience is a good worship teacher. Amen, somebody. Amen. And we got to give God the praise. Hallelujah, somebody. And so we got we to thank him. Amen. Because just because he woke us up this morning. Amen, somebody. You had, amen, the use and activity of the land. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, and, and you can do things for yourself. Amen. The, 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 the thing that we say is we, we really need to think about clothes. And in your right. See, some of y'all miss this. Didn't, didn't nobody have to feed to him? Didn't nobody have to dress him? Y'all missing it. Uh, have we got some help in here? A amen, somebody. It, it was God who has kept you. And that's why I, you ought to tell him thank you. Amen, somebody. And so in the text, Paul teaches us how to worship God. We know why we worship Him because of the experiences that we've had in our lives. And I, I, I dare not allow, I'm used to let folk looking at me uh, suppress my worship, but it doesn't matter to me now. Because they don't know, you don't know what, he, what He's done for me. Hallelujah. A amen. And so you can try to judge my worship. Amen. But you really don't know. Hallelujah, somebody. Why I give him praise. So the first thing that Paul says in the text, verse 18, he says, rejoice. Rejoice. Evermore. In other words, amen. You got to give God praise. Amen, somebody. And it, it, it means that you got to learn how to magnify the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Rejoice evermore. Yeah. And that means no matter what, amen, a day may bring, yeah. you'll still have enough in you yeah. to still rejoice in the Lord. In the Lord. Yeah. Amen, somebody. I, I didn't say, amen, you don't have to, amen, be fake and phony, amen, in your daily walk, but, uh, pretending uh, to be upbeat and, and, and that you're never sad because, amen, that's not the way he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. He wants us to rejoice always, amen, and, and you say, well, now, how in the world can you do that? That's impossible. How can you rejoice evermore in everything, every situation, every circumstance? Well, Jesus didn't rejoice in everything. Y'all still in there with me? Amen. The Bible says in John 11, 35, that Jesus wept. And then in Hebrews chapter, uh, uh, Hebrews chapter, where we had, had uh, five, verse seven, it says, Jesus prayed loud and crying tears when he was facing Calvary's cross. I'm still trying to get wrap my mind around how in the world down and can you rejoice evermore huh, if all of this is going on. Amen, somebody. But can I help somebody in here? James chapter 1, verse 2, he says, count it all joy. Yeah, when you encounter 
There it is right there. Yes. Trials. Yes. Uh, tribulations. Yes. Testings in your life. Yes. Because one thing I've discovered, amen, is that when God tests us, it produces endurance. That's right. right. Yeah, that's why some folks, you know, you need to understand that, amen, the thing that God sends us through uh -huh. is to help build up endurance right, in the believer. Yeah. Y'all missing your mission shot right, right there. Yeah. A a amen, somebody. Romans 5, verse 3, and I'm hurrying on, amen, okay. says glory mm -hmm. in tribulation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Also knowing that tribulation uh -huh. working Oh, I got a little help right up in here. Amen. And patience, experience, and experience, there it is. Experience going to give me hope. Because if he did it one time, he can do it again. And folk maketh me not a saint. Maybe going through, folk may be talking about you, may be laughing at you, hallelujah somebody. But hope make it not a shame because the love of God is spread abroad yes. in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given to us. Are y'all still in there with me? Amen. Life has a way, I tell you, of tempering us. Anybody here been tempered? Yeah, yeah. Your, your experience has a way. Hallelujah, somebody. That there's some folk, amen, that, that, that shout now. Uh -huh. That never shouted before. Oh, yeah. That's right. But experience will pull one up out of you. Oh, yeah. Have I got anybody in here? Yeah, yeah because you, you, you need to understand that God wants us to give him glory. Yeah, yeah. And so you got to learn how to rejoice evermore. Yeah. Because you never know how things how things may turn. You may be doing all right one minute. All right. Uh, the next few minutes. Right. Things will change That's on right. you. That's right. Have I got anybody in here? But but if you got hope, oh, if, if you got hope, you can rejoice oh. in the Lord in yes, Hallelujah. People may think it's strange and say, I don't know how they do it. But our joy cannot be uh, oblivious to circumstances. You got to maintain your joy. Hallelujah, somebody. And I heard Paul says, amen, don't allow circumstances to govern your worship. That's right. Amen. So the first thing he said, praise, amen, rejoice ever more. But then secondly, and I'm just about done. He says, pray without ceasing. Verse 17, in this second exhortation, amen, pray without ceasing. Hallelujah, somebody. Now, can I help somebody out? That doesn't mean that you walk around all day long. All right, all right. Them, them, uh, no. That, that's not what it means. Yeah, 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 that's not what it means. There's nothing somebody tell them that's not what it means. That's not what it means. But, but what it does mean is that, and, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a word study that is this without ceasing uh, means is uh, um, in the New Testament, a, it's kind of like a hacking cough. In other words, it's always, it's always something, an intermittent cough there that, that is going to, amen, cause you at any time to cough. And that's how your praise ought to be. It, it ought to be recurring. It ought to be constant. It doesn't mean that I walk around bumping into stuff in my head down all day long praying. Amen, somebody. But there should always be a hallelujah, hey, hallelujah. Uh, down on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. That, that causes us, hallelujah, to shout hallelujah. when God has done some good for us. Right. Hallelujah, somebody. And so, so when, you, when you come around folk who, amen, have that, have that 
amen, that, that cough, that have that hacking cough. I want you to check it out, amen. Uh, uh, ben, they all, they're ready to praise God. I like to be around folk like that. When they hear a praise report, they can shout with you. When you tell them what God has done for you, they can shout with you. That's right, that's right. Hallelujah. When you tell them about your promotion, they can they got a hallelujah with you. Come on, somebody. That they're praying with you. Amen. And so this is not a prayer that has a limited hour. It means that whenever, amen, there is something to pray about, something to praise God for, then you're ready to do it on a dime. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Anybody got to work you up? Come on, somebody. You already got it on the inside. Nobody got to push you and tell you to tell God hallelujah. Don't have to do all of that because you got something on the inside that is prompting you to give God the praise. Amen, somebody. I said, many times we, we, we spend so much time when we pray begging God, asking God for stuff. When we really should just tell him thank you. Thank you. Matter of fact, we ought to start off saying thank, thank you. you. Most of us start off, Lord, I need you. Help me, Lord. Yeah, but we ought to just start off saying thank you. Because you've been so good to me. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, we ought to just, just tell God thank you, even when you show up on Sunday morning. David said, enter into his gates. We don't have a right crowd in here tonight. With thanksgiving. Don't wait until you get pumped up while you're coming through the door. You ought to have a thanks on your lips. Enter into his courts with some praise. Are y'all still in here? Give him thanks and praise his name. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And you know, sometimes when we ever we we around folk, there are uh, some situations where we allow folk to silence mm -hmm. our praise. Mm -hmm. But you dare not. If God been good to you, then you ought not let nobody. That's right. You ought to, amen, you ought to be giving God the thanks. Yeah. Amen. Just because he's God. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And see, your praise has been perfected because of what you've been through. Yeah. yeah just because you've been through some stuff, uh, then you are, won't let nobody shut you down. That's right. Matter of fact, if they're on your road, uh huh. Amen, somebody. You ought to move in a little closer and tell them you don't know what the Lord had done for me. You ought to move in a little closer and tell them you don't know the troubles I've had. You don't know the storms that I've been through. Hallelujah. You don't know how good God has really been to me. Are y'all still in there with me? But because of God's grace, God mercy, he brought me through. I'm just about done. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. When you thought you weren't going to make it. Hallelujah. When others had given up on you. Oh, you ought to be able to tell God, thank you. So because nobody don't know Amen. Where he brought you. Where he brought you from. Hallelujah. You know you don't have to be in church to tell God thank you. That's right. Amen, somebody. And, and, and you know, you, you when you get in your car and you think about when you didn't have a car, you ought to tell him thank you. Or when you get in your, your fine car, when you think about you had a hootie, come on somebody, you ought to tell God, thank you. Oh, man, get my hand here. Hallelujah, somebody. You ought to tell him thank you. Are y'all still in there with me? 
Hallelujah, somebody. When you walk around in your house, in your fine apartment, you ought to tell God, thank you. That you got a roof over your head. When you look in your pantry and you got some groceries in there, you ought to tell T. We take too much for granted. You ought to be able to tell God, thank you. When you open up your closet, hallelujah, somebody, and see how good God has been to you. Hallelujah, you have to decide what you want to put on. You ought to tell God, thank you. Yeah, because you've been good to me. And you really blessed me. Have I got a witness in here? Tell somebody you ought to tell God thank you. Because he's brought you from a mighty long way. And then finally, the third exhortation, verse 18, he says, and everything yet we ought to give thanks. And thankfulness is the opposite of complaining. I hope you don't have no complainers in here tonight. But when you think about the goodness of God and all that he's done in your life, where he's brought you from, you dare not complain. Hallelujah, somebody. When you think about God's goodness, you ought to be able to tell him thank you for all that you've done for me. I could complain, but I won't. I can complain, but I won't. I should complain, but I won't because God has been good to everybody. Come on, high five somebody and tell them I won't complain because when I take all of my blessings and line them up with my complaints, when I put them on the scale, all of my blessings, weigh all of my complaints, and I got a witness here, and you ought to be able to tell God thank you for being so good to me. so good to me. Has it been good to anybody in here? Tell somebody he's just that good and everything you ought to give thanks because it is the will of God. Anybody know it's the will of God? Tell somebody I'm glad that God willed it and he looks out for you and I. Anybody know he Bread when you're hungry, water when you're thirsty, a bridge over troubled water. Do you know who I'm talking about? Is there anybody in here that really knows the name? Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. He made a way out of no way. Tell somebody thank you. When you said you weren't going to make it, you ought to be able to say thank you. But I'm still here. Ain't God alright? Sound yeah. Sound yeah. Is he alright tonight? I said, is he alright tonight? Tell somebody in everything. Give thanks. Because God is an awesome God. Thank you. Tell him thank you. Come on, grab your neighbor by the hand and tell him thank you. He's a, he's a good God. Yes, he is. And in everything, give thanks. Folk may not understand it. 
But you know it's working for your good. Yes. Hallelujah. They may want you to sit down. They may want you to shut up. But they don't understand that God is molding you and making you and shaping you and, and tempering you and making you stronger, making you better through your experience. And so you learn how to give him thanks. In everything. Hallelujah, somebody. Anybody in here thankful? Hallelujah. Just come on, grab your neighbor by the hand and tell him I'm, I'm thankful. I'm 